Okay, guys, if you watched the video I put up last night, uh, and by the way, this chart, I'm, uh, this video I'm referencing right now, I'll put a link to this at the end of this video. Um, I'll also have a link in the description. So I was giving you upside targets and downside targets, both for Bitcoin and Chainlink. Notice that the target I gave you to the upside was 10,934, this yellow line. And Chainlink, I gave you your first upside target was $10.27. So guys, I'm trying to give you tools to help you make better trades. If you'll notice, um, these are some charts I have up. So notice Bitcoin pushed up. We were finding resistance underneath this trend line. Rejected, rejected. And we were finding strong support down here. Notice we pushed up right to my target, got rejected. Same with Chainlink. We pushed up to my target, we got rejected. So guys, again, I'm giving you the tools to help you make better trades. You know, we were underneath this trend line at the time. I, I said, if the dollar drops, that is bullish for Bitcoin, bullish for altcoins. The dollar started dropping. We broke this resistance. We hit my target. Uh, the dollar pushed up. Same with Chainlink. We broke through this resistance. We pushed up to my target. Had the dollar started pushing up from this point, that would have been bearish for Bitcoin. So we would have come down and potentially broken the support to my lower uh, target for Bitcoin and my lower target for Chainlink. So again, if you have the tools, you can make better trades. You know where your resistance level is. You know where your support level is. So again, uh, what I'm expecting, uh, this, this orange ring, I expect to be a pivot. You can see clearly... Uh, the dollar is in a falling wedge. I do think it's very likely when we cross this ring, this is when the dollar will push up. The dollar pushes up. That is bearish for Bitcoin. We're at resistance. We're at resistance for chain link. If the dollar drops, now you can see down here, this is another DXY chart I have. We are currently below this line. Now this is more bearish for the dollar, more bullish for altcoins and Bitcoin. If we continue down and hit the support, 93.30, uh, then you want to be long on Bitcoin to potentially you know, go up to that uh, tar target I gave you above. Same for Chainlink. It could go much higher. But if we do push above this, you know, expect Bitcoin and altcoin to, altcoins to come down. Notice I mentioned oil. Every time we hit this orange ring, we get rejected. So you know, oil at resistance, coming down to potentially test support. Uh, gold is currently above. Um, this was resistance, now it's support at around 1,894. So I might do a live stream a little later um, after markets open, but what I want you to pay attention to, go, go back and watch that video to, to, so you can understand what I was predicting. But the main thing is, is pay attention to the dollar, guys. If the dollar starts dropping and you, you're not sure which way it's going to go, if the dollar drops, Bitcoin's going to go up. All coins are going to go up, but I give you exact targets. So when it pushes up, you know when to get out and take your profit. But again, uh, we'll have to see how this plays out. Just wanted to show you, um, you know, how these charts did play out. We we did come down. We tested the bottom of this wedge. We pushed back back up to top to test the top of the wedge. And again, we'll find out in about I don't know, roughly six hours when we cross this ring. If we start pushing up, expect stocks to come down. Bitcoin, altcoin, um, gold, and it looks like uh, oil's already come back and test uh, the support. But I'll go ahead and put a link up to that previous video. Make sure you watch it because that. Um, that pretty much goes into detail what I'm expecting today after the market's open. That's it, guys. Until the next video.